I'm very adamant on how I feel about country music, and I don't care who knows it, I'll tell the world. And uh, country music today is not country music of yesterday. It's, it's a lot more important than, than that. And I hate, candy-coated country don't make it. They, they, they candy coat it and trying to trying to be something they ain't. Well, it ain't going to work, my friend. I think probably my association with the Grand Ole Opry. I love what the Grand Ole Opry stood for 60 years ago. I still love what it stands for, but not quite as much. Isn't it terrible being so truthful? We were making bets on it. We was going back to at California to record the Forgive Me Sean, mm -hmm. the answer to it. And we was on, me and Furlan and Fuzzy Owens and uh, Fuzzy, Fuzzy Owens and Lewis Talley. We was, they were the musicians and we was guessing, we was going to stop me. I didn't know what a billboard was. I thought it was something you found on the side of the highway. And they said, let's stop and get a, a billboard. I said, a billboard? They said, yeah, we want to see where the record's at. I said, what do you mean see where the record's at? What's it got to do with the billboard? I was imagining them getting out and cut, cutting a billboard down the side of the road and putting it in the car. <laughs> now that's the truth. And finally Furlan told me, he said, you dummy, I didn't know what a billboard was. had no idea what a billboard was. But anyway, they, <laughs> they stopped and got it. And Furlan got in and he pitched it in the car, side of the car, and said, well, look what, a, look what a number one record does for a lady. I said, who's the number one record? Who's got the number one record? He said, you do. No, I'm, I'm really and truly thinking about retiring here in a couple of months. Really? And it's, it's been the hardest decision I've ever made to think that I had to walk away from something I love so much. There's only one thing I love more than country music, and that's my kids and the, and the Jesus. I try to put him on top of the list, period. Friends, this might be my goodbye, and I hope you listen and listen good. You will hear the voice the last time of Gene Shepard. I don't know after this. We'll have to go from there, because right now I'm living high on the hog, so to speak. Maybe not money-wise, because I have so many friends, and they count for a lot. And you people who don't know how much you've counted for being on my side and counted for me, and I love all of you for it. Thank you so much.